we want to take a little bit of time to talk to y'all about our trip to Dollywood. We finally made it to about Dollywood. <laughs> I, think, I think we've both waited our whole lives to go. So, well, I mean, technically, I've been to Dollywood before. I think he was in the park a lot. Yeah, we, we didn't. We really didn't. So, when I was a kid, my dad said, hey, you want to go see Dollywood? And we went to the mountains, and I said, absolutely, of course I want to go see Dollywood. Uh, he, he gets us to Dollywood, goes right into the parking lot, and then uh, turns around. So I saw cookies are done. <laughs> I made homemade chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> it's, Christmas. it's Christmas. So, you know. so we figured that we would talk to y'all a little bit about our trip to Dollywood because we had so much fun. Um, I, we filmed a lot, but I don't know putting it together what all probably not enough probably not enough because I hate you know. going places and living through the phone I, I'm yeah. terrible at it because I hate walking around looking I'm, everything's happening around me and I'm looking through the phone so yeah it's hard because you want to experience it but you want to share it too so it's like this weird somewhere in between so we did film a good bit we just don't know how much of it so we're just going to talk to y'all about it and add the clips as we go yeah just, anything we got we'll add yeah so some friends of ours, they have gold passes, which we're going to get gold passes oh, yeah, after sure. going because it's so much fun. And so we were able to go for free because they gave us tickets to go. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. And the parking and everything was free too because of their gold passes. Because it's not cheap. No, it's, it's not. It's not cheap. I mean, honestly, <laughs> at this point, if it were up to us to afford to go, we would probably wouldn't have gone. Yeah, we probably so, would not. very grateful for the gift. <laughs> yeah. um, but one of the things I was really surprised by is how organized everything is. Like you, sorry. Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Let, let's, let's tell the nice people how the day actually started. So, we almost didn't, didn't, well, we didn't know if we were going to be able to go or not because we were taking some stuff out to the truck on our way out and he came back in to get something and I fell down the stairs. <laughs> like, yeah, I heard <laughs> something outside. I wasn't sure what it was. Then I heard some neighbor asking, are you all right? <laughs> I did fall down the stairs and my foot just went backwards. It, it was very embarrassing because we have a lot of neighbors around here and- We're new. Yeah, we're, we're new, new and here I am rolling down the stairs, but we made it. I did hobble around a good bit. It was hurting pretty bad. She literally walked it off. <laughs> oh, well, because we were at Dollywood. They opened at 11. 11. We and were we there didn't right after that. Right at yeah. 11. And then we didn't leave until 9. They closed at 9, mm -hmm. and we didn't leave until 9.30 or yeah, so. Yeah, the last big event is right at 8.30, which we'll show later. It was, it was really good. She's got a schedule of us what I to did. talk about. So. They know. I have lists yeah, of everything. Yeah, she's got notes. Yeah. But uh, the last event was around 8.30, and then it's like herding cats getting everybody out of there. Yeah. But, but we'll get to that. But very organized. Everything was organized. So you just you, when you get there, you park. And we were in candy cane. Candy, no, cotton, cotton candy. candy. We cotton were in candy. cotton candy. The, the, play, the sections that you park in, are one was apple butter, cotton candy, and I forget the so other one. So A, B is apple butter. C, yeah. cotton candy. D is who knows Something what. else. And so we were in Cotton Candy, and you just get on the little tram, and it takes you to the park. It was just such an easy, oh, it was awesome. easy entrance, yeah. easy getting out. There was not a, which we were the last one of the last ones to get on the tram, so it was just very easy all together. But when you walk in, everything is just Christmas. When you walk in, you're there's this theater right at the front, and it, they're just the bells were hanging across the the yeah yeah alleyway. had bells in the alleyway had. Uh, Dollywood Smoky Mountain Christmas displayed at the front. It was obviously completely redecorated for Christmas and they go it was beautiful. all out. Our friend said uh, they do that pretty much for every multiple season. So it's always decorated to match whatever's going on. They did a Halloween thing. Uh, so it, it was just right away you're thrown into Smoky Christmas. Mountain yeah. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it was fantastic. So we figured the best way to kind of do it is go through kind of like the map of Dollywood, just because we kind we hit every part of the park. I think that's why we were there until oh, yeah, closing. Sure. I think we, we went times. to every spot that there is. So when you first get there, the the little alley part with the bells that we were talking about, that's Show Street. 
Um, and that's where the bakeries, they have tons of bakeries. There's one called Aunt Granny's. Aunt Granny's. And we found out that why they call it that is that's what Dolly's nieces and nephews call her is Aunt Granny. Because, you know, she never had kids. So she's like an aunt and a granny all at one, all in one. And I think they have a 25 pound apple pie. Or 20, yeah, 25 we didn't get to pound. see that. We didn't get to see that. But, I, I mean, would have. it's just amazing. And the prices of the food is... Let me... For yeah. real, like I've been to, I wouldn't say a lot of theme parks. I went to one growing up a, a fair amount, Carowinds in yeah. uh, South South and North Carolina. And the one thing that everyone says about other theme parks, I've never been to Disney, is how just outrageously expensive everything is. It's, it's not. not. Dollywood is not that way. Everything is pretty much like fair restaurant and fair retail prices we yeah. we went there really unprepared for how cold it was going to be or yeah. going to get yeah. Yeah. right it was nice yeah. it was we did so, not layer yeah, no, at all no. I mean, we used to live at the beach this is a, a new, <laughs> new territory <laughs> yeah. so i mean i had to pretty pretty quickly buy a new like a over shirt a button up or something to go over uh, the hoodie i had on it was, and it sun was i needed cold. sunglasses because it was just and it was i mean it was regular price stuff it was i think the sunglasses were like twelve dollars yeah. and then i ended up getting a, a holly dolly um sweatshirt because mm -hmm. i had on a sweater but i'm telling y'all it was so cold like so cold and i had to get a sweatshirt and i got the holly dolly one i think it was like 42 dollars. yeah sweatshirt price which is I mean, not anything unbelievable just, it wasn't extravagant the food was they had a like the, the food wasn't that bad either no. like they had this one crazy awesome looking buff like uh, Southern buffet. food buffet. I wish we would have eaten that because it was it was like a Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner type buffet. It was like twenty yeah, twenty something each. And I mean, dollars each. Coming from there. Myrtle Beach, I mean, you go to that's a, a buffet price anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. So anyway, we're going on. The prices are fair. <laughs> the, no, don't get me wrong. The ticket prices individually when you go in, just like most theme parks, are pretty pricey. But they don't gouge you once you get inside. No, you're not paying tons and tons and tons of money for a drink. This or isn't a, an ad for Dollywood, by the way. I know. We, we, this is not sponsored by Dollywood. However, uh, if anyone from Dollywood is watching this, we I, love Dollywood. I will swallow my pride. Here, come on. So, Show Street, we're going to get back yeah, on yeah, track yeah. here. Right on Show track. Street is the main little area when you first walk in. That's where a lot of the little shops, that were the, that's where the shop is that I got my sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. That's also the exit. You go through that gift shop on your way out. So, everybody has to go through that. But they have the Palace Theater there too and that's where we saw the kingdom airs it's a southern gospel quartet <laughs> and we saw them that was really good fantastic i mean yeah. really really good and they're there all the time i think that's that yeah that's normal they theater. just did a christmas show this time but they're there yeah. all the time they're there all the listen, time i love southern gospel music just throwing that out there and they and are they really really good it. then you go into the wilderness pass was the next little section and I think that's where you were on some of the roller coasters and, oh, yeah. and things yeah I, I don't do roller coasters just so y'all know so thankfully the friends that we went with they were all about them so I was able to he kind of went off with them and I just waited and took pictures that's mm -hmm. what I did <laughs> I just don't like roller coasters it's just not for me but I think you enjoyed those uh eagle's nest is it eagle's, eagles, yeah. is that eagles what eagle something it's just it's crazy it's, it just looks it's crazy I yeah. wish I wish I would have had some like a GoPro or something with me to record the actual ride because that is an awesome, intense roller coaster. Yeah, I did. I did quite a few coasters there, and they're really well done. I don't know. I haven't been ridden a roller coaster in a really long time, but these were some of the smoothest coasters. Hopefully, all parks are like that. I now. think they said the wooden one is kind of rough. Wooden ones are. Some I don't ride wooden, wooden coasters. One. They'll give me a headache. But, yeah, yeah, that they're kind of rough. But he did do the some of the rides there. Listen, my buddy was there. Yeah. I'm, I can't not do a ride. <laughs> Next, we went to Craftsman Alley. I think that was probably my favorite section. Um, I think that's where we did the most stuff. Um, it's really neat because they have all kind of like sawmill stuff everywhere and like iron. They had the, mm -hmm. what was it? The blacksmith. The blacksmith. They had the blacksmith. That was right by the chapel. They have a beautiful chapel. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, we'll put in some pictures and yeah, the chapel video actually has service every Sunday. Yeah, every yeah. Sunday that Dollywood's open, they have church service there. And um, when it got nighttime, they had carolers, so mm -hmm. they had oh, it was beautiful, beautiful singers. Um, but the chapel is really pretty, and all of the 
It's almost like stained glass, but it's quilts. Yeah, it's, rather than stained glass window, it's all quilted. They have quilts like hanging. quilted imagery up there. And Very it's, cool. Oh, it's so pretty. But I is love... that where Dolly's house was too? Or is that somewhere else? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Checking the notes. I got notes. No, that's in Rivertown okay. Junction. So Craftsman Alley is where the schoolhouse is. That one was really cute mm -hmm. too. And it really reminded me, if y'all saw her movie, The Coat of Many Colors, um, the Christmas movie, it looks just like the school from that movie. Mm -hmm. and or like Little House on the Prairie. Little House on yeah. the Prairie. It looks Schools just like, like that. that. It was it was really, really nice yeah, to see. Cool. And I, I'm just really excited about that. Then they had the Eagle Mountain Eagle Mountain Sanctuary. Yeah, there's this big, like, netted off uh, area where you look up on the side of the mountain. And that's another thing cool is, like, uh, the theme parks I've gone to have been look like giant parking lots with rides on them. This is in the mountains. You're surrounded by trees and mountains, and it's very cool. Look up way up, and you see, like, I don't know, eight of... or ten bald, bald eagles up there, and you see a few more over here. I'm trying to zoom in to get a picture, and... <laughs> And she goes, babe, there's some right here. And literally, <laughs> right like, there. right in front of me, I could have taken a really good picture. But, uh, and they're huge. Yeah, they're massive, huge. cool bald eagles. Uh, yeah, big big fan of the bald eagle. That and, was awesome. And what that is, I think it's the only one or the biggest one yeah, in the United Yeah, I forget what the States. story is. Um, so, basically, they take... So they're not releasable for whatever reason. These these bald eagles they're are not injured or yeah, they're hurt, injured, hurt, or they can't they can't be out in the wild. Yeah. But they take care of them, and their offspring, their babies, are able to be released out in the wild. And they even had a show where you could see a bunch of different owls, and they had owls and birds, and they yeah, had a owls. crow that takes money. We'll yeah. put that clip here. He went up there and gave them the money. Um, his name was Fry Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck, yeah. Friar Tuck was great. And um, it's really, he was a crow, a little black yeah, crow. Yeah, he spoke. And um, yeah, he talked and everything. But I think it's really neat because they save all these, not just um, bald eagles. Yeah, like they, they had, save. they had the little owl that came out and you know, he it, got it was, hit by a car. You know, he was hit and, by a car, so they rescued him. They had a peregrine falcon that was blind in one eye. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous animal. So they rescue all these. It's a sanctuary. So it's not like your typical zoo where they're just rounding up animals to show off. Yeah. And then any of their uh, hatchlings, their their eggs and stuff, they, they do release those in a while. They show you a quick video clip of everything and they mention how you can help. And then... Yeah. Uh, they go into like how the American Eagle was basically on the endangered and almost extinct list, and now it's fully, now it's fully, you know, fully functional that, member of society. That was a lot of fun. I really like to see the eagles and that bird taking his money, which is I just loved it. Yeah, because normally it's this bird taking. Money. <laughs> no. So also in Craftsman Alley. Um, okay, so let's see. Near and at nighttime near the Eagle Mountain, they have lights. Like I have never seen, and it's a little bit not scary, but a little bit creepy because they have eerie. it's, it's like eerie yeah. because it's dark. And we'll put a clip in there while I'm talking about it. Um, it's like little kids laughing. It's, one of the, it's, it's, it's very like strange. a recording of little kids giggling and laughing, and the lights are beautiful. And then the fog machine. Blows yeah, up, and so. it's like it's just the prettiest, prettiest thing. But a little bit, you I, know, I would imagine like that same setup around Halloween would be amazing. Yeah. Another part in Craftsman Alley that I have to talk about is the cinnamon bread. Oof. So the the couple that we were with, they're like, "Oh, it's world famous," but they had never tried it. They had never had it before, and I was like, "Well, I'm go we're going to try it." It's at the Grist Mill. Yeah, Grist Mill. And it's one of the what do they say in Tennessee? It's in a hundred years. It's the first and only that's run on An operating grist operating mill, yeah. by a water mill. Yeah. Yeah. So it grinds all of their. They bread. actually use yeah. it to they grind. They use it for that, and yeah. it. Y'all, I put a, I'll put a picture of the bread. It is so good, and you can also get apple butter with it. We got the icing, but I did buy a jar of their apple butter. <laughs> but the bread is just amazing. It is yeah, so, so good. good. And again, speaking about how awesome the place is, you found out later, like they on their website, they, they give have, away they the give recipe. The recipe. Yeah. So I mean, again, that wasn't even crazy expensive. It was like. It's, 
12 bucks. I think bucks. 12, 12 yeah. But it's a nice it's big, big loaf. It's like you get a big we one on the side that, and right. little slices. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. You can, was it dollywood.com? Yeah, yeah, they have the recipe on I swear there. this sounds like a sponsored video. It's yeah. not. <laughs> I, uh, I wish it was. Yeah, um, so the last thing that we saw in Craftsman Alley that night, it was so cold, y'all. I'm telling you, it was so, so cold. But we went to see the live nativity. That was show awesome. show I yeah. guess is what we'll call it. It was really yeah. really good. It was like a three section little stage, um, and it was it was beautiful. But the guy that was singing, I don't I can't I gotta find his name. We He's don't know awesome who he boy. was, but I mean he should be like. I would imagine a lot of the entertainers there at Dollywood, around you know, in Tennessee are. Either, they're trying to get somewhere, yeah. and, and most of them are very much worthy. There's a lot of somewhere. talent in Dollywood. Yeah. I mean, a lot, a lot of talent. But he comes out and sings like a... a kind of telling the story. Yeah, like Mary Did You Know, and you know, your yeah. typical um, Christmas songs. And then on the right side of the stage, or stage left, there would be a live nativity, um, and or the story of the birth of Jesus, and then on the other side is like a modern very sweet modern christmas story of a dad and a young daughter that can't find the top of the that uh, her the, mama that passed away yeah, the yeah. Angel. very sweet story yeah. and going side by side there so there'd be a section over here a section over there and it, it was just very very well done yeah. really cool and so much talent i mean the little kid the little girl oh, was, yeah. i mean just so much talent at dollywood so then you go from there to the village, and that is where the train, Dollywood Express, is. Now, we planned to get to, to yeah. go on it, but y'all, one, it was freezing cold, but two, the time changed for the train by like five minutes, yeah, so by the time it. we, and we were rushing, and y'all, I was hobbling up there. <laughs> I was hobbling trying to get trying to that to train, train, but we just, we just didn't make it in time. It was Running cold. up there like Tiny Tim. It was <laughs> Merry Christmas. And um, so we missed it, but I think in the spring that'll be a really good thing yeah. to do. But it's a beautiful train, and we found out that the train is actually from, was a World War II mm -hmm. train. So the everything has like so much history behind it. Yeah. And one other thing I wanted to point out when you're walking through Dollywood on the sides of all the buildings, because it looks like an old 50s Appalachian mountain town. Yeah, a Mayberry so of sorts. Mayberry yeah. in certain It's made, parts. a lot of it is made to look like where she grew up, Sevierville. Yeah. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of it's made to look like where she grew up, so it's a lot of 50s and, you know, And feel. older, like, yeah. you know, and so every little bit, they have these little, like, like dress signs or advertisement signs and um you know different like store signs that's what they look like but then we looked online and what they do if somebody retires from dollywood they make they make one like let's say if i worked there and retired in not I retired 1996 yeah. it would be audrey's cosmetics or whatever and 96, 96 it's sent, yeah. you know, like they make these cute little, and then some of the places are actually named after people that work there. Like, what was it? The, the TV? Howard's uh, Howard's TV repair was her uh, construction uh, and maintenance manager that uh, she had known forever. And she named one of the yeah. little fake shops. How, I can't. Him. I'm not going to say his last name. I can't yeah. remember, but it was Howard's something. But it's stuff Howard's like TV that, repair. like those little details. Yeah, everything has an Easter egg that, yeah. like. Even we wouldn't know. It's pretty much just like a dolly Easter egg. That, yeah, we just happened to look it up and saw yeah. it. Um, so then you leave the village and you get to the county fair. Now that's where we got on the Scrambler. That's the only ride that I got on and I had so much fun. <laughs> she did. And I have a, fi a video of that too. I was just An holding accidental phone. video. Yeah, so, so I was <laughs> We did the whole selfie thing, right? Where we were doing Well, that. I thought I did and I was and taking a video. Like, there's a section where it's like, you know, she presses record or presses to take the picture and we're, you know, doing the dumb thing where we're like, oh, this is a video, isn't it? <laughs> Laughs, puts the phone down, but doesn't stop the video. So, yeah, it records going around and around and around. I was squishing him every time because I wasn't holding on to the you, thing. You're, you're listening to me nearly die is what you're listening It was so much fun, though. And then they had the little cars where you can get in these little, little car things things that, mm -hmm. that drive itself through it was just a lot of fun it was a cute little thing the couple we were with their son loves those so yeah, we it was got like on an on rails go-kart kind of thing yeah it was that was a lot of fun i had fun with that now the next section is the river town junction that is where her house is or 
a replica of the house like you grew two, up in. Two of the rooms. It, no, was it wasn't. Was that was it. Yeah, a two room house. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole her whole house she grew up in. I think there were what eleven of them. I think. 11 of them, I believe. Again, go watch uh, Code of Many Colors. Yeah, but it's a, it's an exact replica to her memory of the house she grew up in. So her Tennessee Mountain Home is what it's called. And it's just, it's really neat yeah. to see. Right. And like, there's a little gift in the floor and it's got her, it was from her mama to her daddy, mm -hmm. the writing on it. It's, it's just so neat. But everything in there, if you saw the Code of Many Colors, you, her movie, you would, you would recognize most of it. It's just, it's really nice to kind of go on her porch and see. I don't know. Yeah, I thought she was going to pass out. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, it's oh, no. house. <laughs> um, so then you leave there and you go to the Jukebox Junction, which was like the 50s, yeah. very Mayberry. That's where Howard's TV repair. And yeah, the, there was some... a little palace, little no, a little Pines Theater. That's Pines where Theater. we saw the night before Christmas. There was a little play there. It was really, really cute. Yeah, really sweet. Um, well and done, too. Like, it was not yeah. a makeshift thing. It's a, it was yeah. very well done. Um, so that was a lot of fun, but the whole street there, they have, what, Red's Burger Place? Yeah, Red's Diner. It's very, it's really, yeah. really 50s. Very, very um, 50s. A lot of fun. Um, really pretty. Just little hot rod sitting out front. Yeah. That, that's where the little uh, on-rails go-kart thing. Ca the car thing. Yeah. That's where that was. That's right. So then you get to the, the last little section is the Wildwood Grove. That is where the drone show was. So Ooh. that's how like that's how your day kind of ends. So we kind of split uh, split apart and we were going to see the drone show at, later on is what we thought. Yeah, we didn't realize it was we about to We didn't know it was right then. And then we'll put the clip. We can't really play because music and all that stuff. Yeah. But it's all drones. Like the whole thing. Yeah, the, the lights that you see if you're watching it right now. Yeah, we'll have it in there. Then all those lights that you see up there it's hard to put into context in a video it's huge but it's massive music was awesome it was all choreographed to some dolly music and some other music Her but everything you're too. seeing right now is drones yeah all drones i mean it, it does it blew it blew my mind yeah it, it does the christmas gorgeous. tree the ribbon yeah, the it shows everything. a nativity it shows like a peace on earth type ribbon and dove it was and it, was it ends with uh merry christmas love dolly, love dolly. and oh. see i couldn't see the love dolly part because the building like where we were standing we we kind of just got stuck there yeah. and so but it, it ended with merry christmas love dolly that's how the drone show ended it it was beautiful and then fireworks they, oh, yeah, and they fireworks. closed out with fireworks um and so that's kind of a, a beautiful song yeah, yeah. I and hate it, that we can't play the music. Yeah, the, now that's another thing too about the music when you're there. It's either gospel or Dolly songs, a lot of Christmas songs. There's tons just all throughout the park. And then you can hear the train wherever you are. You mm -hmm. can always kind of hear the train because it was a little funny because the live <laughs> nativity play thing that that we saw, they were talking about. Like, how are we going to get there? <laughs> how are we going to get there? And the train, <laughs> the train horn <laughs> went off, right. and it was like, <laughs> it was like the perfect timing. But you can always hear music and Dolly. It's unapologetically and, Dolly. Yeah. It, and, it's, well, it's also unapologetically Southern. It's yeah, um, and and it's, it was great. It's beautiful. It's it's so beautiful, and uh, we just had so much fun because we had both been waiting so long to go, mm -hmm. and now we're only. An hour, hour, hour and a half. little over an hour away, and so we're definitely gonna gonna get season passes because next year they were working on it when we were there. Um, they're gonna have an exhibit of hers that's opening, I think, summer. I think of March, next year. Like, yeah, they're gonna have her costume, like her clothes, her like tons and tons of stuff, and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. But we just had such a good time. But I think if I were to pick a, what would be your favorite? God. thing of the whole trip that's tough I, I haven't ridden roller coasters in a really long time so it was it was that was fun to do again because it's it been I don't know decades since I had been on a roller coaster those and they were really really fun but the kingdom airs probably take the cake yeah that was awesome this yeah. isn't just a show it was they were so good y'all so so good but I think my favorite I got so many favorites, but I think my favorite was probably the chapel. The chapel? I think the chapel was my favorite. More than Dolly's house? Yeah. 
that's a close second. It's like, I don't know, I think the chapel, just because of where it is, like you kind of go up this hill and it's just, it's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it, it, I don't know, there's something about the chapel that's just different. It, it was right. really. I'm surprised, I thought you were gonna say Dolly's house. Yeah, cause I mean, I, I, I was really excited about that too, but I don't know, I think the whole thing, the whole feeling of it, and it's just such a friendly place. Oh, yeah. I think it was voted the friendliest theme park in yeah. America. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I it believe really, it, because, yeah. like, even when you're waiting on the tram and everybody's cold and all this stuff, you didn't hear any, like, there wasn't any grumbling no. and pushing and shoving and none of that. I don't know. It just, it was just, a, and the people that worked there were all so friendly and just happy. And a lot of that goes to, like like you said, the people that work there and the like the system they have in place. I, like yeah. I say, I've never been to Disney, um, so I don't know what they're, like how they're set up. But like for the amount of people that left after that drone show, I mean, it was... A lot. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds a of, people of people that were leaving at the same time. I mean, by the time we walked down, I mean, it, the trams just constantly yeah. sending people out. There was, you were never more than 10 minutes from another ride to your car, and they take you pretty much right to it. Now, maybe it's worse when they're busier, and like, it was still busy. but it was pretty busy. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just, from what, from our experience, you yeah, know. <laughs> fantastic it was I, I had a lot of fun and i can't wait to go back and i'm i'm so excited for her exhibit like oh, we're gonna I'm wear that place so out. excited because i follow her on instagram so i see all like the new stuff coming up and you know because we were joking because she was in tennessee at one of the walmarts with her new perfume and i was like but she's there like she's close by she's That's right. there. you know um there's just always that wish that you'll see her somewhere but everybody tag dolly in this video and tell her <laughs> to come watch it maybe she'll pop up somewhere mm -hmm. but i just i had so much fun and you know for us like just moving here and kind of getting everything settled our apartment decorated and settled we still have boxes everywhere over here off, in my off this side there's still <laughs> my car is full his truck is full um, so, but I gotta say, like, we've done more in the last few weeks we've been here than we did where we, where we were. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's just, it's just a different feeling. So, I, I just think that the mountains are good for us, because we went to the local Christmas parade, mm -hmm. what, last week, and that was a lot of fun, too. Reminded I'll put, I think I have a, a picture I can put on here. That reminded both of us right. of our hometown. Mm -hmm. And so, I think that's what we've been wanting, is to get to somewhere that we're, it feels like that small town, but you can still it's get to places. Mayberry with a Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we want. That's what we wanted, yeah. and I think that's what we got. I loved it. I've loved moving here. Yeah. And I mean, it's been fantastic. Dollywood was I mean, like yeah. a cherry on top. Next, I have to get him to Graceland. Yeah. It's just a good little drive, but i got to get him to Graceland because I've been quite a few times. He's never been, so that's next on our list. Um, but we just wanted to share with y'all our trip to Dollywood because I've talked about her so much on my channel <laughs> and, and I've talked about wanting to go for so long and we finally made it and a lot of y'all loved my my short that I put up and on Instagram I showed you know that looked same video so we just wanted to kind of dig in a little bit more about it and you know promise it's not an ad for Dollywood but y'all it's so much fun and if you are nearby, just go. Just go because mm -hmm. it is so much fun. It's so worth it. Good food, good oh, people. Yeah, it's good all good. Although everything. the hot dog with the potato red Yeah, we did get a hot dog because we were good. starving. Because we had been there, all, all we had eaten was a little bit of cinnamon bread. Well, they probably don't care about bit. the hot dog. But it's a hot, but it's a hot it's dog a hot with dog. like a spiral potato It has a around. potato all the way around. I didn't around. know how to eat it. We didn't know how to eat it. <laughs> we're, we're like, we're, our hands are freezing and we had a knife trying to cut it off the stick. It was just a disaster. But I think in the summer it would be great. It, was, it tasted good. It was good. Everything was good. But we just didn't really know how to eat that. But And then we had to make it to the next show, I think. So, mm. you know, but we just had so much fun and we just wanted to share it with y'all a little bit, you know. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, thank y'all so, so much for being here. And again, if you get a chance, he's just eating these cookies. They're good, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Homemade, homemade chocolate chip cookies. But, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so thank y'all so much for being here and spending your time with us. And um, until our next adventure or the next haul, I guess y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And we mm. will see you soon. I'll make the cookies. <laughs> Bye.